Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of the NASCAR Heat 5 Career Mode. I hope you're all having a great day. Today we go racing here in Auto Club Speedway for the Cup Series. Fresh off of a big choke last episode at Sonoma Raceway where we had an opportunity to win. And well, I threw it away by wrecking the car. But first we have the first race of the season for the NASCAR Legend Series where we have a new driver. Jonathan Cadell. You might know him as Twitch streamer Steel Horse Live. He is now going to be on the roster for this series for this final season of the NASCAR Heat 5 Career Mode. He's actually actually replacing Ryan Newman. He retired from the series at the end of the last season, and now Cadell will take his spot. So we're going to jump through into the first race on the season here, getting ready to go green for the Exalta oh, 50. Uh, and I can tell you right off the bat, Jonathan would take off very well in Ryan Newman's place there in that number 69 car for this season. We started down here in P15. We had a really rough season in this series where I didn't even make the playoffs last season in the debut of this series. So uh, we have a lot of work to do this time around. We need to be more consistent. David Schildhaus is currently running up front. Schildhaus made the final four last season in this series and came up just short to Ryan Newman as well as Kyle Larson and whatnot. But we were getting quite used up here in the first little bit of this race because these guys were going three, four, even potentially five wide at times and I'm all the way up in the outside wall on the exit of turns four on the second lap Joey Stone and I come together and you see Winval there right in the middle of like four wide I would drop all the way down to about last place here in the first three laps of this race so we had a lot of work to do but I got to the inside and just started making up some ground really quick so we were able to move our way back forwards really no problem when we were on the inside we we're up to P16 passing Kevin Harvick and we move up to P15 we now came to lap 10 up to P12 David Schildhaus was still leading the way but Jonathan Cadell was closing in on him very very quick I did lower his AI compared to Ryan Newman's quite significantly but he still surprises me because Jonathan Cadell would end up taking the lead by the time they came through to start the final lap of this race as I'm battling Joey Stone here for that 10th position and 9th position here as Jonathan Cadell in his debut wins here as we send it up the inside of Joey Stone for a slide jump through turn 3 out of turns 4 though it's going to be a drag race to the line some contact but Joey Stone gets to set the line there for P9 that's as we have to settle there for P10 so not a terrible start to the season I was actually pretty satisfied with the top 10 as obviously you guys know dirt racing certainly not my strength here as we can win a cup championship but we can't even win a dirt series race David showed us there in the top 10 Travis Brown Joey Stone as well uh, as Michael Cozy Jr. so all of the content creators are inside the top 10 for this first debut race of the season for the NASCAR Legend Series but now we come through into the Xfinity Series race here from Phoenix Raceway with Paul Menard behind the wheel here as we were getting ready to take the green flag Phoenix hasn't really treated us well here on the Xfinity Series Paul has made the final four a couple seasons now and both times have come to this track he's come up short of a championship so those have been unfortunate but here we are looking for a good strong day at this short track now as we go down towards turns one right behind that number 22 of Kevin Magnuson uh, we've seen some F1 drivers be very strong this season with Roman Grosjean winning at Daytona uh, we saw Kimi Raikkonen very strong in that 98 car and he was looking strong again today uh, now as we have the 20 of Chris Busher up our inside here as we go down into turns three and he's going to make a three wide there as he came through to turns four passing the seven of all and the 22 of Kevin Magnuson there. So it was a pretty calm, laid back, chill race though for Paul now as he made a move up the inside of the seven of Allgaier, trying to gain some crucial positions here in the early portions of this race, but really just didn't have that car that we needed to be able to move his way through the field uh, easily. So we come through a little bit later. He was now three wide though up the inside of AJ Allmendinger as well as Landon Castle. Allmendinger goes for a slide. He saves it after some contact with Paul and Paul would go through to pass both him and Castle. So moving his way forward though now on the end of this race and unfortunately this is as far as Paul got. I mean overall it was actually a pretty decent finish there as he came up just short of a top 5 to get P6 as Sheldon Creed for JRM actually wins in the 9 pair. So uh, a great race for Creed now here as you see the rest of the finishing order on your screen. Uh, overall pretty happy with that finish there for Paul because like I said Phoenix definitely not a track that we've always been very good at so 
uh, when we come back here later in the season, we know it's once again going to be for a championship, so we're going to still have to work on that. Now, as we come through into the Cup Series at Auto Club Speedway, uh, this track didn't treat us the greatest last season, but hopefully it'll be a little bit different this time around. We got the Dr. Pepper paint scheme back on the car, looking for some redemption after that big choke in Sonoma. We were in position to win the Daytona 500. We choked that away. We weren't in position to win Sonoma, but we were given an opportunity to win Sonoma, and I choked that away as well. So we, in reality, could potentially have two wins this season, but it's going to be a tough ride because we slammed the outside wall today in qualifying, and that would destroy our lap. We come through to cross the line with a 41.239 and qualify P31 for the Auto Club 400. So a uh, big mistake in qualifying is going to set us back quite significantly now as we have a lot of work to do as you see the rest of the qualifying order. Ty Gibbs with a surprising 39th place qualifying effort. I don't know what's going on with him, but very, very rough. I can tell you his rating, he should not be that low. So uh, maybe they're just a little bit off the pace this weekend, but that's not the first time we've seen him have a rough qualifying effort as it's McLaren on the front row with Eric Jones and Chase Elliott with Derek Krause, Kyle Busch, and Harrison Burton rounding out the top five. All right, boys. I mean, I got to try my best to make up for that one last weekend, even the Daytona uh, 500 still. So I'll give it everything I got today. Let's go get a win. And there you hear myself on the radio to the team here as we get ready to take the green flag. So a lot of work to do, but we actually gain a couple spots then where we originally qualified in P31 and that is going to be due to Brandon Jones in that number 96 Alpha Tori failing optical scanning station multiple times so he is sent to the back along with Tyler Reddick in that 42 Chip Ganassi Racing Chevrolet who had an engine change after qualifying now as we get ready to go green here on the inside still now in P29 just behind a Chip Ganassi Racing driver of Timmy Hill here now as he looks to get his season turned around now as we are underway in Auto Club for race number four on the season here now I mean we're on that west coast swing this is probably one of the more fun sections of the schedule we had the road course in sonoma now we got this big two mile oval at auto club here in california and then of course we got phoenix raceway coming and then las vegas motor speedway so four tracks for the west coast swing and all very very different types of tracks so uh, very excited to see what we're going to be able to do in phoenix as well as las vegas hopefully we can have some strong runs there as well might not be winning capable but definitely top five top ten at least here as we are already on the move on this first and opening lap not wasting any time Time, trying to get away to the, towards the front. Derek Krauss, by the way, another guy not wasting time. He goes from P3 to P1 on this opening lap in that 2311 car, and he's going to lead this opening lap in Auto Club. His teammate, Bubba Wallace, right now, not even in the top 20, as we're three wide with him, as well as Anthony Alfredo in that number 21 car. So, a bit of a rough start to the season again for Bubba Wallace. He's still up there in the mix, but he's just a few points out of the playoffs, but definitely going to uh, need to pick it up here if he wants to be a playoff contender. And I expect to see him win races this season. He is in a car that's even better than he was last season and he won three races last season so I 100% expect Bubba to go very far in the playoffs this season maybe win four maybe even five races now as we were three wide with Haley Deegan as well as I believe it was a 20 on her outside yes it was there Rajah Karuth in about P19 now as we pass Deegan for 18th up the inside of Noah Gregson we're gonna make a move for P16 right there and we were just going through the field so quick and it was just building up my confidence lap after lap now up the inside of Lewis Hamilton who once again is having a very strong oval run here running in the top 15 Lewis is going to be a threat all season long I'm very confident now as we would get past him though uh, and get to the inside just about that number eight of Zane Smith here as we go down this back straight away on this fourth lap and then you'll actually look to the outside of him here as we came through to start the fifth lap using that draft from that number 17 of Christopher Bell and it seems like right now Christopher Bell with that Roush LeBron racing team seems to be about a 10th to 15th place car which should be good enough to get them in the playoffs if we don't have too many surprise winners now Christian Eckes by the way if you guys remember in the Red Bull picked up his first career win last episode at Sonoma Raceway now as we look to the outside of Kyle Busch and now we're up into the top 10 behind our Gordon Hendrick teammate there of Ryan Blaney who's having a strong run today we owe him a little bit after completely messing him over last episode in Sonoma getting him caught up in an incident that he had no business of being involved in now but we would get past him for P9 now just five laps ago in the stage a caution actually comes out could not find what brought it out but yellow flag in the air Derek Krause Sam Mayer Chase Elliott Harrison Burton and Kyle Larson your top five Kyle Larson having an incredible start to the season uh, and I had a lot of help over the offseason from Latian he really did a tremendous job helping me out with the driver ratings and I can tell you Kyle Larson should not have 
uh, should not be running where he is. So he's just downright doing a superb job in that number five Gordon Hendrick Motorsports uh, Chevrolet. So now as we get ready to go green though on this outside behind our teammate of Kyle Larson, we're now in P8 with only a two lap dash and uh, some interesting dynamics there on the pit lane. Sam Mayer goes to the lead. Chase Elliott on the inside, Eric Jones on the inside. They all cover the first three rows. Some contact between myself and my rival of a Joey Logano here as we go down into turns one. Track house driver of Ross Chastain up the inside. Chastain, another guy who's having a very strong start to the season. So definitely got to keep an eye on him on how he does throughout the rest of it now as we're on the outside of Ryan Blaney. Three wide in front of us between Burton, Logano, Chastain there on the inside. Now as they go down towards turn three, you're seeing these McLarens just run so, so strong now as they cover the whole inside now. And they're going to go one, two, three as we're three wide now with Eckes and Bell on the exit of turns four. This car doesn't really excel on the short run, which is a common thing we've had throughout this whole series and unfortunately we're about to lose our chance at stage points because of that being an issue now as I can't find a way to get to the inside when we have Christopher Bell down there so I forced myself to try and make this outside work you can make this uh, lane right here work especially on the long run but you can see we get a really good run through the center of one out of turn two now alongside Christian Eckes in that Red Bull now as it was really cool to see Red Bull return to victory lane and especially with the uh, Christian Eckes behind the wheel and now as we're three wide again with him and Bell in a turn three and four for the final time Sam Mayer leading the way out of turns for Elliott and Jones, P2 and P3, and unfortunately we get cleared by the 17 and the 83 and out of turns for down the front straightaway. It's going to be no stage points for us here in the first stage of Auto Club, but still overall a good rebound from what P29 it was all the way up to 12th place by the end of this first stage. So I was happy with that, uh, and of course you're just seeing McLaren right now is unbelievable, and surprisingly after the first three races, not a single McLaren driver has gotten to victory lane. But you see right there, they're one, two, three. Uh, so their preseason the strength is definitely showing here in the regular season now. As eventually everybody would determine that they were going to come to the pit lane, including myself here. As it was close, we can actually potentially make it uh, on field to the end of stage two. But we played it safe here. We're coming to the pit lane, gain one spot, and move up into P11 there behind our Gordon Hendrick teammate of Ryan Blaney. Now as the green flag is now back out in the start of stage two is underway. And here in Auto Club, it is now time in stage two to get in. Amped. There you have the amp segment here from Auto Club Speedway now, P10 after that. So we're up in two turns, one on the outside. Logano, our rival, just behind us. We were able to get by him as well now. Uh, as up front, it looks like we got Eric Jones in that seven leading the way for McLaren. Now's Logano. He's going to get to my back bumper, give us a big push down this back straightaway. Of course, that is not a friendly push from Joey, but it actually helps me nonetheless as we go down into turn three. We go to the inside and we get closer and closer to these guys up in front of us. Chase Elliott and the McLaren drops all the way down to p9 i was able to attack on him look up the inside make a pass there and then also get up the inside of that 25 car of ryan blaine he was having a, a pretty decent run here in stage two as well now as we hope he gets in the playoffs and hopefully he wins the race this season now so hopefully every uh, gordon hendrick car is able to visit victory lane so far it's only been kyle larson who had a chance to go three for three last episode in sonoma but a late caution completely destroyed his chances of doing that now as we come through a little bit later to lap five up the inside 
side of Harrison Burton, and you can just see how fast of a car we have. We're just continuously moving our way forwards now at the inside of Derek Krause in that 2311 car. We got past him, and then into turn three now at the inside of our teammate of Kyle Larson. Brandon Jones in the Alpha Tori, by the way. Speaking of rebounds, he started all the way in the back further behind us, and here he is right now running in P3 in front of the number uh, 99 of Ross Chastain. Now as Kyle Larson tries to get back to my right rear quarter panel, but we get ahead of him. Now at the inside of Chastain as we came through out of turns two on lap seven, and here we are up into the top five, but the caution actually comes out again late in stage two, and this is also going to again force a late stage restart just like what we had in stage one. So I'm looking at the situation here with the pit lane, and Eric Jones currently is electing to stay out, and surprisingly, he wasn't the only one. So as you're going to see when I start to scroll through the order potentially here, uh, I can't remember if I showed it or not. Yes, I do. So you, there you see some drivers, a bunch of drivers actually staying out. I decide we're going to come in anyways, and we're going to restart P16 alongside Sam Mayer, who as well has fresh tires. So, obviously, P16 to P1, very unlikely now as we get back underway, but it's three laps in Auto Club. There's definitely enough time. If we get through this traffic quick enough, we could win this stage now as it's Chase Elliott and Eric Jones all the way up front now as we are back underway going down towards turns one. So, I had pretty high hopes for this restart. I thought, you know what, at least top five, maybe even a stage one. You're going to see myself get aggressive right off the bat. Three wide here as we come through out of turns two. And now I'm going to force it four wide with Cole Custer for Kevin Harvick in Incorporated. You got Todd Gilliland in the middle there for that front row Mercedes. And then you had to bet that on the SHR Ford Mustang there on the bottom. Now let's go down into turns three. Already up into the top ten. Unfortunately, I got caught behind Kozlowski, but I would look to his outside down the front straight away. We pass him for now P7 to the outside of Austin Dillon for P6. We get past him as well. We would get past Zane Smith there in fifth. We would get to the inside of Joey Logano by the time we came through to the final lap of the stage. Some contact with Joey as we came through at a turn. So he tried to force the side of the apron. Nearly crashes himself. Makes a tremendous save, but that was as much as we really had here as we go down this back stretch for the final time. Into turn three. Chase Elliott, Eric Jones, the McLaren duo, Kyle Larson following through behind us with fresh tires as well. So it's going to be McLaren 1-2 and Gordon Jordan Hendrick third and fourth here as we come through down this front straightaway for the final time. Not enough quite to get that number seven of Jones. We got to his back bumper, but P3 is what we have to settle for here in stage two. So uh, it was worth a gamble to try and make that tire decision and try to run those guys down, but now everybody has to come back into the pit lane here. So Chase Elliott, Eric Jones, they made tremendous decisions right there to stay out under the last caution here. As we're going to come in and put two cans of fuel in the car, four fresh tires. I was considering a potential grill tape adjustment as we were currently sitting at 45% grill tape but I didn't think I really wanted to risk it too much uh, so I decided to actually just go through and do exactly nothing to the car here now as you see the rest of the order right now Timmy Hill five laps down he is out of this race as Zane Smith is able to get up to P5 over Haley Deegan there on the pit lane so we are getting ready to go green from row number two. Chase Elliott, Eric Jones, both looking strong today as the green flag is back out. 18 laps to go once we cross the line, which means that if it does stay green, we do have to make a green flag pit stop. Auto Club, usually we have a caution in the mix, so I was definitely expecting no green flag pit stops here for this episode now as we go through turns one and already clear of the seven of Eric Jones a really really good launch right there as we came through now out of turn two but you can see Elliot already pulling a gap we know he has speed and he made that decision to leave Gordon Hendrick Motorsports after last season because he won two seasons winless in the career mode and he said you know what I'm calling it I'm going to a team that really feels like they're going to just give me the support I need and here he is now with this McLaren racing team after the three car expansion a lot of of R and D progress, and here he is leading the way in Auto Club, looking for that first comeback win on his new team. Now, as we go down into turns one, completing that first and opening lap, Joey Logano now trying to make that inside line work behind us. I was keeping an eye on him because it was looking like he was moving his way through the field uh, pretty quickly. Now, as he's up the inside of Eric Jones for that third position here, as I definitely realized that nine car was so fast that even when I had the draft, I don't think I'm going to be able to run him down. And I actually lost his draft. That was how fast he was. I have all 
all these cars behind me pushing me forwards and I can't even run down that nine of Chase Elliott. Unfortunately, Logano gets up into third place and it would not be long at all until he would put on some pressure down the spike straight away on lap 35. Elliott even further out ahead as we go down into turn three. Logano gives us a big push into the corner and he's actually going to go and lose the car through turn three and wreck himself and collect the number five of Kyle Larson who's going to go around right there and the eight of Zane Smith involved even the 20 of five of Blaney. The 83 of Eckes gets a piece of it and a bunch of cars there all got involved as that would bring out the caution here today in Auto Club. Everybody here, by the way, deciding to stay out. So I was like, you know what? If they're confident they can stay out, I'm going to stay out as well. And this is going to lead into a very close field situation. Now, Logano obviously trying to wreck us into turn three, but wrecked himself instead. So, I mean, can't complain. Uh, now we don't even have to deal with him throughout the rest of the race. Likely now is a green flag is back out. 12 laps to go here from Auto Club. So, of course, what's the field situation looking like here? Uh, because I was surprised to see everybody stay out. We have 11 laps of field. We're about a lap short. So, uh, we got to find a way to save one lap of field here in 12 laps now as we are on way into turns one and two we have the advantage over the nine of Elliott we just about clear him there as I think we are clear but he fights back on the exit of turns two we have zero help Elliott has help from that number 45 of Derek Cross and unfortunately right here I'm not able to clear him I actually push him down the track a little bit force him down trying to mess up his entrance as much as I possibly can into turn three though you're gonna see the effect that nine car is just so fast he powers on through as we come through out of, out of turns four and then I would also lose the spot to the 45 of Derek Cross Kyle Larson he was right back in the mix after that crash with Joey Logano and he was passing me out of turn two so now we're down to P4 and then I'm starting to realize that that field situation it's really creeping up into our situation now to where I'm gonna have to think about saving field but now this battle for the front was getting heated up myself Larson side by side Elliot side by side with Derek Kraus and I was wasting no time at this point into turns one I would actually make an aggressive move through the center of the corner make it three wide with Derek Kraus and chase Elliot out of turn two Elliot drops down to P3 some contact there with the 45 of Krauss and that actually causes me to lose ground and that allows the nine of Elliot to go ahead and now Kyle Larson he's going to look to the outside here to go down into turns three so a uh, bit of a mistake for myself and then myself and Larson both would actually be able to get past the nine of Elliot who all of a sudden out of nowhere fell off a cliff Chase Elliot would lose contact with us he was dropping like a rock so then it was just a three car battle between myself Kyle Larson and Derek Krauss and then this was the moment right here about lap 43 lap 44 I decided you know what we need to try and save as much feel as possible as of right now we're about a lap short so I decided to start capping out the speed at about 190 or so miles per hour and just try to save as much as I can in the draft of Kyle Larson so I was doing this really well actually and over the last few laps of this race or the next few laps of this race we were saving a good chunk of fuel and I realized that you know what I don't think I need to save enough to get to the finish line on the last lap I need to save enough to where I don't run out until about turn three because I'm confident these guys right here in front of us are going to probably come into the pit lane so I can have enough of a gap to whoever decides to try and risk it and stay out behind me well even if we start running out of feel we can still cruise to the victory there in Auto Club so that was kind of the goal I wasn't trying to save enough to get to the finish line and by the time it came to lap 47 I said you know what there's still going to be enough draft from Derek Krauss and whatnot here that I'm going to go hard and we'll probably save even more feel still uh, that will get us to the finish of this race so now to the outside of Kyle Larson into turns one with three laps to go in this race and we clear Larson no problem we get to the back of Derek Krause down towards turn three at the end of this back straight away a move up the inside for the lead here in Auto Club we haven't really had a car capable of winning here today but all of a sudden the fuel light by the way comes on so it's going to be close as we exit turns four and we were side by side with Krause all the way down into turns one here in the final two laps of this race and finally right there we get clear of Krause as we come through out of turns two I actually decide to be generous right here and leave him a lane to the outside I knew he has momentum and I didn't anticipate him getting to the finish here of this race so down the back straight away into turn three for the final time or sorry for the second final time coming to the final lap here in Auto Club and sure enough out of turns for Krauss he's actually going to come into the pit lane and so is Kyle Larson and just about everybody behind him except for one driver the 16 of Justin Haley is actually going to remain on the track and you're going to see him cycle through in the second place any second now as we lead the way into turns one and two passing the Alpha Tori of uh, Brandon Jones now as we come through the center of the corner out of turn two and we haven't run out of field yet it says we have zero laps of field as we go down this back straightaway 
when will we run out of fuel? If we run out right now, we're in a little bit of trouble. But if we make it to turn three, I'm pretty confident we're going to be okay. And sure enough, into turn three we go. And now the car starts to run out. But we have so much of a gap over the 16 of Justin Haley that I'm sure that we are going to be completely fine. I do pull over to the inside of the track just in case now. As it's down to eight seconds between myself and Haley. Now down closing into seven seconds. But the line is right there. And sure enough, we will win on fuel mileage in Auto Club. Fuel mileage races have never really been my strengths in the NASCAR Heat 5 career mode. Today, turns out it is a strength of ours, at least uh, for a one-off occasion. So, very, very happy with that overall. I uh, did not anticipate picking up the victory here today in Auto Club, but just happy to say the least now. As we are locked into the playoffs and we were able to pick up a win a lot earlier than we did last season it took us to the brickyard 400 last season to win that race what number 20 on the season it took us four races this season so uh very happy hope you guys enjoyed that win uh definitely didn't think we were going to get it even with five laps ago i just didn't know what was going to happen there with the feel uh but we saved just enough to where we were able to still just kind of cruise to victory there out of turns for as you see the finishing order of course everything a little bit wacky with some guys pitting some guys staying out some guys i'm sure ran out of feel uh, so just a, a bit of a baffling finishing order somewhat. Ty Gibbs a terrible run down there in P33. He's going to have to pick it up. The Alpha Toria Brandon Jones was down there in P39. Timmy Hill, of course, DNF'd 40th place there. Is We're going to check out the point standings for the series before we end this episode. And as always, if you guys enjoyed, you know what to do. I'd like to thank you all for taking the time out of your day to watch this one. So let's get a look at what that Cup Series playoff grid, of course, looks at now as Kyle Larson, Christian Eckes, and ourselves are the the only winner so far this season in the first four races there by the way is the xfinity series grid before we uh, move on to the cup series currently all guy are out by two points now uh but larson bleeding everything overall a tremendous start to the season for him then you got elliot lewis hamilton p5 in the standings but on the outside looking in it's Derek Krause, ryan blaney bubba wallace Haley deegan noah gregson they're only out by you know 2 to 15 to 20 points as gilliland is currently the last car in but before we end this episode of course as usual i would like to say a quick thank you to the going racing members on the channel of mj joseph 9001 timothy arline bubba jr brett derward dark gengar gaming ag vasura russell dixon Kenneth Barnett, Dana9302, as well as King Matt XL. You guys helped me out so much, and I really do appreciate your support so much. And I'll see you guys in the next one from Las Vegas. Have a great day, everybody.